Welcome back to the Volander. So the bridge is the right shape. But, there's no air in here, and that's because we haven't actually brought any lines up. So when we want to bring up lines, there are a couple of things to remember. First things first, these are not airtight, so you can't use them in the walls or the floors because air will pass through and you won't have a seal. These are airtight, but they're ugly. So we want to minimize their use. Also, they're expensive. The vent we're using is this guy. So we want to minimize all of that nonsense, and what are we going to do? I think that the best option is to put our vent here. Uh, and it may be exactly where that light is rather than here, but we'll take a look. If we go down below, this is our room where we're going to be pulling the vent up from, and this is the actual conveyor that we're going to be pulling out of. We're going to pulling it out from. So if we were to drill down or grind down this piece, this is directly in line with the conveyor. We can bring it up, and it is right here. So, we can bring up our air right here. The only reason we wouldn't want to do that is if we needed to run a line all the way to the front of the ship. And we don't. There's nothing up here that requires us to have a line. Um, the closest thing we could do is, at some point, we may want to have like a split bridge where one part is more pressurized. Well, we don't care at the moment. So we'll just go ahead and stick that there. So let's pull it down and pull it over. There we go. That is what we need. Shall we build it? Yes, we shall. There we go. Now we have a vent. So we're gonna fill in this gap here with just metal plates. There's no reason to be spiffy about it. Just plunk, 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 plunk. There we go. Oh, I guess it's painted the wrong color. Let's go ahead and paint it black. So this is going to be our first, our very first air vent. So over here, we actually have the other half of the equation, which is exactly the same. But let's start off by seeing whether or not our cockpit is sealed. Because these glasses, the glasses, these windows may not be properly installed. These old windows, you know, sometimes they're not properly installed. Oh, yep, they are installed. Lovely. I love it when things work out. Shall we take off our helmet? How you doing there, buddy? Breathe good? Mmm, mmm. Let's go ahead let's go ahead and take a seat while we uh while we breathe here. Yeah. Neat. I'm a breathing. This is actually a major milestone. Uh, it's quite difficult to set this up in one go like that, and I didn't actually cut away. I didn't actually do any trickery there. That was exactly what I just did. I just set up everything uh, in one take, just like you saw. But it is time for us to say goodbye. It's too bad that this suit doesn't actually recharge when you take your helmet off. It just stops costing you oxygen. Well, unfortunately, I said to depressurize, because we need to do some work and I'd prefer not to lose that oxygen. Hello? Hello? I have a feeling we're actually full on oxygen. Because I don't have any oxygen tanks. I haven't built any yet. Let's go ahead and set this up so that we have some oxygen tanks in the mix. Uh, and I can do that because this is a dead end. So there might as well be oxygen tanks here. Tank. Tonk. We can go ahead and extend it, because I'm sure it's going to be filled up in the near future here. Yeah, this'll work. So I'll just build another oxygen tank right here. There we are. And hopefully those oxygen tanks will fill up. And we were going to bring up the other oxygen. And this time I'm going to actually use a, a flush vent. 
Oh wait, in order to do that, I'm gonna have to change the mods that I have installed. Alright, let's change out our mods. Here you can see a list of my mods. Pause it if you want a closer look. Alright, we're back. So, if we wanted to use the new, more advanced mod, uh, we'll go ahead and pull in the word vent. And you can see that we now have two new conveyor air vents. Both of which are, just look stylish as hell. I love the way these look. And if they work, I'll be very happy. We want it to be like this. And then we come down here, and we want to have a elbow and two straight lines. Oh! Light. Yay! So, let's close these doors and uh, see whether or not we can survive. So you can see that it is green, meaning that it's trying to pressurize. So let's change this from suck to blow. Alright, and let's go ahead and take off our helmet and take a seat. Uh-oh. We need more gold. Are we full of oxygen? Seriously? Filled 100%. Oh dear. Alright, so once again, uh, we can't harvest the air in here because we were too efficient at filling it up. We're overflowing with oxygen. They should really fix that. Now, in order to actually refill the suit, we have to actually go someplace where there's oxygen to pump into us. Like here. Full. Alright, so, we now have a pressurizable space, but we're nowhere near getting the infrastructure we need to actually create uh, a, a space that we can feel comfortable in. To do that, we're going to need to replace this with, <laughs> with the better one. Give me a moment. We're also going to want to pressurize this area, but I think that'll wait. First I want to go ahead and construct the, uh, the exit, because we're going to need to have an invisible airlock to walk into and out of. And it has to be right here. We don't have any other options, so I hope there's nothing in the way. I know there is an engine back here. It is the engine. Okay. Yeah, that's not long enough, is it? It's gonna have to be a U bend, or rather a J bend, and that means going out that way. These do count as blocks, so you don't have to worry about them not being airtight. Oh, is that where the gyroscope is hiding? in the way. Yay. Are you kidding me? Sort of thinking to myself, sorry. Alright, so we're just gonna keep cutting right across. So that's all heavy armor, but I don't feel any need to keep up with that. Light armor is the future, since I'm not getting into combat with that one. But it would be nice if it were the right color. There we go. 
So this is going to be our invisible entryway, our invisible airlock. We do have to put a roof on it, but I like the flat look. So I'm going to try and put a roof on it that works with that look. And I think this will be airtight, but I'm not 100% sure. Even if it's not, I can make it airtight. Now I'm not sure that this can be properly pressurized or depressurized, but I do know that we can try. think we might be better off if we destroy this oxygen tank. Yep, we need gold. Gold! So we want to be able to cut around this corner at a higher speed than we currently are allowed. Goodbye. Then we need to fill this spot in. Then this, this is going to be our air. to put in that last piece, but I think we need to take some stuff with us. Um, steel plates and interior plates. Alright. Oh, it would have been right. pressurizes, and that means this is fine. That means that when we go through here, it turns yellow, but that's because the door on the other side is open, and if we close that door... Here's the big test. Ah, oh, look at that. Blue. That means it all works. So that means that if I close this door and I pressurize these guys... Alright, let's do a test here. We're gonna start to pressurize the main room here, the main, uh, area. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with this guy over here. He seems to be broken. Well, there's air coming out of him. I guess the lights are broken, but he works. So you can see that I've got oxygen high, which is exactly what I'd like. But what needs to happen is when I go through this door here, you can see it still says oxygen high, and this guy over here should be sucking air in, except for the air is full, we don't have any place to put it. So, that's that's the flaw in our situation here. This would work fine 
if we had some more storage space. But we don't. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. We now have a pressurized bridge and an airlock that'll work once we have enough storage space for it. We'll need to put in some more uh, pieces, but for now, this will work fine. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's go ahead and paint this so that we know it's an entryway. Now, ideally, we would want to fix this divot. This divot is no good. Perfect. Now I'd really like to paint that block down there. I hate it when that happens, because it's just... You have to paint it using one of the big stroke brushes, at which point you paint like everything in a mile radius. And now this is actually a lot easier to get in. We're going to be turning gravity on soon, so that'll, that'll work fine. Oops. Wrong button. Oops, what the hell? I just hit control. Why is it... Why is control suddenly dropping down stuff? Wow. For some reason, control now counts as a click. I guess I'll use shift. Obviously, there's a lot of cleanup to do here. Oh, I just vented a shit ton of gas because I wasn't thinking. Let's go ahead and turn these off. lights work now. And all of this stuff is now bright gold. Well, whatever. We can change it back later. Let's clean up the area. Well, aside from the grotesque color, I think that shape works well. Shall we fix the color? All right. So right now, this is what our bridge looks like. It's pretty austere. But it lays a foundation for some really good things. One of the reasons it's austere is because Energy we... Low. So this is our bridge. So just to overview, from the outside, we have changed the conning tower slightly. This bulky front end we're going to have to change out, because aesthetically it's just ugly as hell. But we didn't change the overall look of the conning tower very much in general. Uh, we fattened it out a little bit. Over here, we've created an intake. This is where we'll be able to get into the conning tower without wasting a lot of oxygen. Although first I have to build a lot more oxygen tanks, because we are so full of oxygen that we literally can't depressurize rooms. Those are the big changes we've made so far. We haven't done uh, any serious changes to anything else, but it's only a matter of time. In the next couple of episodes, we're going to take our modifications up a notch uh, and start to install full functionality oxygen suites. Uh, and in order to do that, we are going to need a lot more resources. So I'm actually going to end this episode by going and doing a little bit of resource hunting. There we are. Alright, so the cargo bay is empty. Good, we're ready to roll. Let's find some gold. Hey, look, there's some gold right down there. Oh, I appear to have accidentally installed a mod, which lets me go far above the maximum. It's probably the um, uh, the landscape mod, the, the background mod I installed. For some reason, a lot of those come with uh, the ability to go much, much faster than you normally can. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but uh, I didn't intend to change 
the speed at which I can travel. How fast can I go? Jesus Christ. It's like 500? might be 500. I don't really feel like I have the uh, stopping power to want to test that. This patch of gold is cool because it's directly on the surface and it glows in the sun. See? looks like a small patch of gold, but it's actually a huge patch of gold, see? such that if I start to catch some rock, it will automatically jettison it. How cool is that? See? Oh! Oh, that's right. I increased the cargo size. I was wondering why the hell I could hold so much gold. But I actually increased all of the cargo capacities by, I think, three times in order to make this not suck when I was retrofitting the ship. And, uh, yeah, that affects cargo, cargo uh, containers as well. So this, this uh, ship can hold a tremendous amount of gold. Just in case I crash on the way back, because I think that's probably enough. Go home. Well, I could try and park in the Volander, but that's not going to work. Um, this actually has a really, really wide set of jaws, and the Volander has this tiny, tiny little entryway. See? That's kind of too close for comfort. Blonk. Now the gold will automatically be sucked in by the thousands of arc furnaces that we have, and uh, everything will get underway. And I think that's plenty for this episode. In the next episode, I think what we'll do is we'll start to retrofit the Volander to hold a lot more oxygen, um, since there's no reason to not not allow that. That'll that'll require us to make some interesting decisions about the uh, about the, con the about the floor of the Volander, the the inner core of the Volander, where all of the assemblers are. <laughs>